Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity and peace and blessings to the whole free lick of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So Esau is the end of the world, the so-called white man. He's coming to the end of his rulership. Esau is the end of this, this world age. And a new world is going to begin when Jacob come into power. Esau is the end of this world. Might we see Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is bringing everything in the past that's written. We're in beautiful times right now. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 8 because of unrighteous dealings injuries and riches got by deceit the kingdom is translated from one people to another so this 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 world is being translated to Jacob to the righteous because the earth is still going to be here when they say the end of the world doesn't mean the earth is going to explode and, and and perish the earth is going to remain here the earth will bite it forever and we'll get that scripture right after this but Esau is the he's the end of this uh, end of this world he's his rulership is, is coming to an end. He will no longer be ruling after he is brought down when Yahweh Shah return. Yahweh Shah is going to bring this devil down. He's going to put an end to this devil. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. You know, there's this devil rape, rob, and murder his way to the top, so to speak. You know, he, 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 he ruling because of unrighteous dealings, man. And it was all set up to be that way through the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai plan. This devil is about to be judged. Yahweh shall return. He have to pay for everything that he have done. And when he's brought down, Jacob is going to be ruling the Israelites. That's what we patiently waiting for. And the kingdom is going to be translated from one people to another, as the scriptures say. It's being translated from Esau to Jacob. Second Ezra uh, chapter 6 verse 9 Esau is the end of the world Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth So that, that's a translation right there And the kingdom is being translated From Esau to Jacob Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 4 One generation passeth away And another generation cometh but the earth abideth forever. So this earth is never going to perish. It's never going to blow up. And none of that that they show you on these dumbass movies, man. So Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he's just having the evil thoughts he wants to destroy. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah creation, but you can't do it. Like he want to blow up the moon and blot out the sun and 
He want to do all this wickedness, man. This is why he's about to be taken out of the, that power seat and be and be uh, and be brought down to a lower state. He's about to be. He's about to get ready to go into captivity. He's about to. He's about to be charged with all these crimes. Right now, he's 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 going through trial right now. And we bring it. We we preaching his word and we uh bringing up all these crimes against him, all these charges against him, for all the crimes that he committed. You know, and the Heavenly Father is about to give, uh, is about to uh, judge him, man. And he will be charged with, the, he's, he's being charged with these crimes and he will, you know, uh, pay for these crimes. Because how about Shem is going to find this devil guilty. Guilty. And that's what we waiting on. So he saw the end of the world, the end of this age, of this world. It's the earth about it forever. It's just the kingdom being translated from one people to another. He saw the end of the world, Jacob, the Israelites. At the beginning of it, that followed. Shalom.